What's up y'all, this is Ash, and welcome to the second video of Slime Rancher 2. In between the last video and this one, I made a little bit more money, but I didn't go explore or anything. I just stayed around here and went back and forth selling forts, and that's about it. So now it's time to get back out and explore some more, but first there's some messages to read. I also unlocked a couple upgrades while I was making more money, but other than that, y'all didn't miss out on anything. So now it's time for me to unlock a new area of the ranch so we can put more slimes in here. I don't have enough money to build more corrals right now, but we can at least go check it out. I always like these cave areas because they're just pretty cool. I like the subtle glowing mushrooms in the dark caves and stuff. I think this also exits out somewhere... Oh, down there. There's a resource I can get. It doesn't go flying into the water. Um, I need a jetpack to get over there, I think. But as for now, we can go back out and explore some more. Then I can come back and maybe move some slimes into the cave. So that we can make room for even more slimes and repeat that process forever. Oh, I should put this stuff in the refinery first, probably, so I have more room for other materials. I did unlock a stamina upgrade, although it's not much, every little bit helps, of course. Well, in the last video, we unlocked a new area, so maybe I should just head over there, because I've explored this place a lot already. There's not much new to see over here. 
I think there's more treasure pods and more gordos in this area to find. But... I'd have to go looking for those. I do have a map pulled up of where they are, but... I kind of like finding them myself, like this. Need a lot more vegetables, though, for this one. Hopefully there's some right here. It's still probably not going to be enough, though. Thankfully, the favorite foods for Gordos count as doubles, so we won't have to give it the full 40 or 50 since I gave it some water lettuce already. But I've already lost track of how much I've given it, so we'll see if this is enough. Oh, not quite. But, you know, I'll just go find some more. It's gotta be only a couple left now. But that's why I tend to just... vacuum up all the food that I see when I'm exploring so that when I find a Gordo, I can just feed it what I have on me. And it's not usually going to be enough to pop it in one go, but it's at least a start. Once again, I'm very glad they mark the Gordos on the map because I have a very poor sense of direction and I would already have lost it. After this, I'll probably go to the new area so that we can see what's over there, probably find some new slimes. And all that. Yeah, he only needed one more carrot. I like that it's like a rabbit uh, burrow that he was sitting on top of. And I think this is a shortcut, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, it unlocks the other teleporter. Now, there's two new areas to explore. Maybe I'll do both of them. But first I should probably head back to the ranch real quick to deposit these... materials that I got. Then maybe I can unlock some more corrals so I can house the new slimes I'll be bringing back, for sure. And maybe I'll move the phosphor ones to the cave so that I don't have to unlock more air nets for their corrals. Then I can start unlocking auto feeders and all that so I don't have to manually feed them. Then we'll really be in business.
because I gotta say, manually collecting all these, especially once you get more dangerous slimes, becomes a big hassle. So, I definitely want to unlock the port collector and the auto feeder as soon as you can. Now I can... We'll put some corrals in here, or at least one, anyway. And I guess it'll have to have an air net if I put the phosphors in here. Which I can't afford, so maybe high walls for now. Then, of course, need a thousand for those two. But for now, we can at least move them. Although that's gonna be quite a task. Since you can't just vacuum up the larvos. That's kind of just... Since they're not agitated, they won't probably go too far. I can just do this over and over till they get where I want them. Gotta be careful not to shoot them into the ocean by accident. Oh, well it would help if I went to the right area. Oh, well, I think I lost one. This is more complicated than I expected. Next time, I think it would be quicker to just get new ones instead of moving these. That's where it went. I hope- oh, okay. They just be sp They didn't be spawned, they quit rendering, I guess. I think I started with five, and now I have, like, three. But, that's okay. See if there's any stragglers left, but I think that they just fell into the water, which is unfortunate. But I can go get more. will probably get me enough for at least maybe an auto feeder, which would be good. Yeah. I kind of like the chickens as food because if you leave crops on the ground for too long, they'll just rot, but the chickens will stay alive indefinitely. Although, people say that the meat is less convenient to feed, but I don't think so. I also don't need to save these Q-berries. 
I was planning to go find a Phosphor Gordo. Maybe I should do that. I'll check and see if I can upgrade anything. That would be nice, but I can't get that. Can't get anything yet, but that's okay. Should probably sleep. It's a lot of chickens. I think that they quit laying eggs if there's too many of them, so... Technically better for them to, um... Lower the population. See if I can go find the Phosphor Gordo to give all these Q berries to. Then I'll go explore one of the new places. Probably gonna take me a minute to find it though. Because I'm sure it's in a cave somewhere, and... Oh! That's perfect, actually. I needed that. I think I need to get down there. Let's see. Yep, I was right. And I get some more phosphors to make larvas with. Which is perfect. This, I don't know. Oh. Uh, I think that would be a happy one that that needs. I wonder if I could go find one real quick. Because I'm sure the taggies are somewhere around here. I haven't seen a thunderstorm in this game yet, so I'm curious if you can get struck by lightning. But I also don't want to find out. Because it probably hurts a lot. Now I'm gonna go unlock some door. I don't know where it goes, but... That's why I'm gonna go find out. Oh, it's just a treasure pot and some jelly stone.
Okay, that's another upgrade that I want at some point. So we're getting somewhere. Now, I was gonna go explore more, but I need to bring back some materials again. Another new message. Maybe it's from the chicken guy. Victor again. Another, um, decoration, it looks like? Yeah. I don't really plan to need it, but it would be nice to have anyway. Still missing one thing for that. So now it's time, I think, to finally go to the new, a new area. As weird as it is, the thunderstorm is really cozy sounding. I guess it's more cozy if you're indoors and not running out in the rain, but I like the sound of it. Since I unlocked the top area first, I'll go to that one first because it only seems fair. And I've unlocked all the Gordos in Rainbow Fields. There's a ton of treasure pods left, but I can at least feel good about exploring more in a different area. And that means we get to take this portal for the first time. I don't remember what it's like. Probably just... Oh. I didn't know it would give me a load screen. Very quick load screen, though. Hmm. Don't know how to unlock that. Looks like there's some pink slimes down there. Which is pretty normal. I don't know what other slimes are here, but I should look for the map unlock first. Abby. Pretty normal so far. There's an odd onion. That's good to have. So maybe there's crystal here? Oh, there's anglers. I like the anglers. Also got some sand. Oh. Definitely want to take some anglers home. 
So I'll have some ferals, but... Just run around them and... Oh, like a rock. And now, I'll probably go home and make angler rot largos. Just to have some more variety of ports to uh, work with. Wait, I forgot they hurt you. Remember a bit of this area. Not much, though. There's probably going to be a lot that I also forgot. I think I'm also going to need the jetpack for a lot of this stuff. So maybe I'll come back to that. Ooh, ring tail. I want that too. I'll have to figure out what to combine with the ring tail. Because they don't have a favorite food, so it's better to link them with a different slime so you can get double double the plorts from feeding them their favorite food. Still haven't found the map, but might go to the other area soon to see if there's new new slimes. I need the sea hens too. I'm gonna have to come back. Over here, oh, that's probably the map right there. Just have to. Yeah, that's I can't get that right now. That's what I wanted. So... Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here that I want, so I'm gonna have to come back for sure. Good problem to have, at least. Having too much... Too much goodies instead of not enough. Maybe I will combine the ringtail with the cotton slimes and get rid of the pink ones. Since the pink ones aren't super useful. Is also a good time to go back anyway, just because it's a little bit dangerous. All of the rain would keep away, it, it would kill the tars, so I guess it's not that dangerous after all, but either way.
First, I'll put this in the refinery. I'm sure this is required for unlocking something. Hmm. This one. That one will be good to have. We need a lot more money, though. So, maybe I'll put the anglers over here for now. I want to combine them with the rock. Then, oops. Unfortunately, I'm going to be getting rid of the pink bunnies. Because I'm going to make some ringtail bunnies instead. When I think about it, maybe I should put these in the cave instead. Goodness. Sell these first. And save at least one cotton. We'll come put these hints in the auto feeder. Make another corral or two. I think I can afford to, so. be able to afford the high walls, but... Come on. Y you missed. Try again. There you go. Ooh. Another one here. And I have enough for high walls, so I'm gonna do that for this one. Then I'll put the angler rock slimes in the other one. And we'll go from there. Since rocks eat veggies, I can just feed them some carrots. Then slowly we'll get some largos happening. Oh, that one almost flew out. I think. The rock's favorite is the heartbeat, which I don't have currently, but that's okay. They've got some nasty looking teeth when they eat. Wow. <laughs> he flung that one out. Definitely need high walls in here at some point, but... I'll just, uh... Is that taken? Then... I'll go sell some of these. Don't pick those up right now. I 
now I can go get enough money to get the high walls. Then I can go explore some more again. I don't think it's worth it to sleep, because it's only a couple hours anyway. And I don't think sleep really does anything but pass time. Although if they want it to be very realistic, you should sleep every night. But this is a, this is a game. Oh. I'm pretty sure when I did my playthrough of Slime Rancher 1, I just never slept. Because the nighttime isn't really that bad. Let's see where this goes. Oh. Door to unlock. You know, Starlight Strand is where I would expect to find the anglers. Not so much Ember Valley, but. Ooh, I need that. Also, get some more cotton slimes, although. I could get those near home too, but we'll see what else I find. There's a drone over here. That's just a mushroom. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> the chickens are killing themselves. Where were the slimes? This place is crazy. There's another door. I think the uh, statue for this one is up on the rock somewhere. But I doubt I would have what it needs anyway. And I probably need the jetpack to get where I need to go. Need any more slimes. But since there's buzz wax, maybe there's honey slimes here. That would be nice. But I'm not sure if that correlates at all. Definitely can't make that. I don't know. 
That's good to know. I think I can make up make it up there. But... All right, the ringtails turn to stone whenever it's daytime. I forgot about that. Not sure why. Hmm. It'd be really cool to find a hunter slime. Those are my favorite slimes in the game. But I'm not sure where they are. There's treasure pod of this area. Just another decoration. I really would like to find the map unlock for here before I leave. So I know where I'm going. Also, without the map unlocked, I'm not sure I can even find my way back to the portal. Well, that might have been a bad idea. Nope, it was not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll also replace my Carrot farm back home with heartbeats because they're more useful. Although I totally think cotton slimes should have had their favorite be carrots. I guess that would be too cliche. The fact that that door requires a honey port makes me think there should be honey slimes here, but I have not seen any. I also haven't seen where else I can explore here. Maybe I have to unlock the one of these doors to go any further. I need to figure out how to unlock this. I just need to get the jetpack upgrade or pop this the hunter gordo and then go from there. So So I'll head back to the ranch. It's probably Hunter's favorite food is roostros, which are not the easiest to get a large quantity of, so I'll just have to feed it regular chickens, probably. Anyways. I think um, there's a couple shortcuts from Rainbow Fields back to the ranch, but I don't remember where they are. 
So I keep going the long way. Maybe one day I'll figure it out. I also got a teleporter I could put somewhere. We can go back to the ranch more quickly, but... I'll have to figure out where I want to put that. Well, the good news is I have a lot of chickens that I can bring to that hunter. put fork collector in there because the rock slimes hurt and I don't really want to go in there. Plus I think I'll need some rock boards for research. So I definitely want to get on that. struggle is I want to put things in the refinery to unlock upgrades, but I also need money, so I have to make hard choices. But since I have explored two of the new areas and made it back home, I think I'll end this video here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you would rather me make longer videos or shorter, cut out the boring parts, you know, that kind of stuff. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!